Okay, day 98 solution. We're going to send one of this massive list of inspiring quotes to us every single morning. Let's start by taking in that list and turning it into an array. So we've got it there. So um, quotes is going to be a blank array. F equals open quotes.txt in read mode. Then quotes equals eval f.read close so I should have a list of quotes there now seems to be working okay okay my next job is to pick one at random so I need to import random quote equals random dot choice quotes and I just print that out so we know which one we're going to be sending there we go so we've got quotes popping up all the time at random from that list now Let's set up our email first, I think, because that is the one that's going to take the most of us. So let's bring our secrets up and let's bring over the same things for email that we need from the other stuff. So I need my one time app password. You can use the one you've already set up if you'd like. And I'm going to bring in my email address then. Again, this one is going to be yours. And let's bring those in. We're going to need the OS library and let's bring in those secrets. I drag it to the right. It'll give me all the options to bring it in. There we go. I want the password and I want the username. I'm just going to call those password and username. Okay. Let's bring in SMTP lib and also all our stuff to make email to our mine stuff now that should be enough for us to run the email so let's make that subroutine i'm going to send it a quote and just get it to send it so server is smtp.gmail.com and of course yours might be different our port is 587 don't forget to check yours the connection is smtplib.smtp, where the host is our server and the port is our port. I mean, realistically, I should have just called it host, shouldn't I, at the end of server, but here we go. Set the encryption up, set the login. Now we should be logged in there. Let's set up our message now. My multi part. Set up two. And send this to me. So I'm just going to put username in there. But of course, you can send it to whoever you want. From is also me. And I'm going to do subject daily inspiration. Okay. I need to now attach the message to it. So what I do is I do mime text there. There's two arguments to that. The first one is going to be the text, which is going to be the quotes. And the second one is going to be the type, which is, in this case, HTML. I'm then going to attempt to send it and then delete the message so it's not hanging around. Let's call that with our random quote, which is called the quote, and see what happens. Okay, we've got a crash there from line 21 which is the login with username and password. Username, password, they look okay there. Let's turn off the sending of the message. Okay, it is crashing. Username, password not accepted. Did I put them into the secrets properly? Or did I get them the wrong way around? I put my username in wrong because I'm a Muppet. Right, run that again. Now that shouldn't crash. Lovely. So I'm turn this off now. And see what happens. Okay, something's crashing on line 27. But quote, ah, quotes, quote is what I sent in. And there we go. I've sent myself a lovely email. Now let's set that up to work at a certain time. So I need to now bring in schedule and time. I need to schedule 
But I don't think I need to run quote there because quote is a global variable. So if I get rid of, before I do this, if I get rid of quote there, does that still work? Let's get rid of those in a moment. Okay, that works without that. So I don't need an argument there. So let's bring in schedule. Let's bring that in as the first one. Okay, let's install it from the package manager then. And if this ever happens to you, just install it manually. Sometimes it just, the automation doesn't, just goes, ah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I don't need it. There we go. So instead of just sending the mail now, let's get this schedule up and running. I'm gonna send it, yeah, every 24 hours. Then all I need to do is send mail in there. I can remove it from here now. And boom, almost there. Then I need my while true. Schedule.run pending. And then time.sleep. So I'm going to get that quote in a day's time. One thing I have thought about though is that my randomization only works once. So this is running for a couple of days. It's not going to give me a different random quote. So I think what I'm going to have to do is take that quote information. Yeah. And pop it in there. Here we go. So I won't see a message until the start of each day and then I'm going to get it. Thank you.